Hi, it's Naomi again. Um, I had a student ask about this problem. It's right out of my math lab. Um, 54 on your week 6 checkpoint, I think. And it's about finding the equation of a line when we're given that it's perpendicular to a given line and we're also given a point that it goes through. So we're given a solution and from this other line we can find the slope. So here we essentially have two very different parts of this solution. First we're going to find the slope. Let's see. Um, two steps. First we'll find the slope of the line um, that's given in order to find the slope of the line that we're trying to find. And then after that we'll substitute the point that we have and the slope that we have into the point slope formula and simplify that equation to get the equation of this line. Okay, so here Step one, we have to find the slope of this line that's given in order to find the slope of our line that's going to be perpendicular to it. Um, so here, I would start by solving this equation for y, which means that first step, I'm going to subtract 8x from both sides of this equals. So I know I always do the same thing to both sides of the equals, or the equation. Um, with the goal of getting this y by itself. So, you know, one of the things that's in the way of this y being by itself is the 8x, so I have to subtract it from both sides. And I get 7y equals negative 8x plus 5, because I subtracted on both sides. Over here, they went away. Um, then, I'm going to, I need to get rid of this 7. I have 7y equals this thing, but I want to know what just regular 1y is equal to, so that I'll have it in point slope form, or not point slope form, um, slope intercept form. So I'm going to divide both sides by 7, which really means I have to divide every single term. I'll divide this term by 7 to get y. I'll divide the second term here by 7 to get negative 8 sevenths x. So I don't really have to divide by 7. I'm just writing it as a fraction. And then this last term I also divide by 7. Again, I'll just write it as a fraction, 5 sevenths. So in the next step, let's see. We have y equals negative 8 sevenths x plus 5 sevenths. Now from here, I can recognize the slope of this line, and it's just going to be this coefficient of x. So the slope of the, the given line is negative 8 sevenths. However, I want to find, let's see, there. So we want to find the slope of the perpendicular line, a line perpendicular to this. And of course, if two lines are perpendicular, they have a very specific relationship, and that is that their slopes are negative reciprocals of one another. So um, if I want to find the slope of my line, I'm going to have to take this slope, flip it upside down, that's the reciprocal, and then take the negative of that. Um, since it's negative negative, it will become positive. The opposite of a negative is a positive. So I'll flip it, get negative 7 eighths, make it positive, I'll have 7 eighths as the slope from my line. So that's kind of the first part of this whole finding equation thing, is to find our slope. Um, and that's what we've done here. Okay, so now that we have a slope value and we have a point value, we can just substitute those into the point slope formula and rearrange our equation a little bit and we'll be done. So the point slope formula is y minus y naught equals m times x minus x naught. And here x naught, y naught is my point that's given. And m, of course, is just my slope. So I'm going to put these values in. y naught was negative 4, so that's what I subtract. Um, the slope we found was 7 eighths, so that's what I put here. And then x naught was 3, so that's what I put here. Now note that minus a negative becomes a positive, and that I can distribute this slope to get 7 eighths x, and then also 7 eighths times 3 is 21 eighths subtracted from it. From there I just subtract 4 on both sides, change that 4 to a fraction, combine my like terms, and I have um, the equation of this line. And that's it. Okay, I hope this helps. Bye.